to the next dimension. Hey guys, it's Sonic Cover Dudes all the way from down under, and today I've got a bit of Battlefield 3 content. I haven't brought too much of this game to my channel just because I could not run it on my old computer. But now I've got my new desktop, I can play it 60 frames per second solo with great resolution and great graphics, so it's perfect for gameplay commentaries. And one thing I like to talk about the gameplay before I start is that I'm playing a bit of Nosh Our Canals Team Deathmatch. And I know all you Battlefield 3 fanboys are going to be going like, you CD, you shouldn't be playing this mode and map, the so Call of Duty ish. We're playing like Russian Conquest, and I'm like, okay, okay, I completely understand. I just wanted to play this mode, and I got a good gameplay on it, alright? Next commentary will be Rush or Conquest or something like that, like an actual Battlefield 3 game type. Now pretty much this is a six minute commentary, six minute gameplay, isn't too long and that was the reason because of this I had a bit of a problem where my game would be crashing every like 10 to 20 minutes. I think I fixed that now so longer gameplay is good gameplays and stuff like that will be coming because I absolutely love this game. It's so, so good. It's one of my most favorite games of all time. I played it before on my older laptop, but not too much just because I couldn't record. But now I can record. I'm, I've been playing this so, so, so much because the, the main reason why I like this all over Call of Duty and Commodore and stuff like that is the main reason I play any game is because it's, it, it's fair. A fair game keeps me around. Like a game that's fun, you know, I'll play for a while and stuff like that. But if it isn't fair, I won't be playing. That's why I haven't been playing too much Black Ops 2 um, recently. But Battlefield 3, it's so, so fair. Everything is amazingly equal. Like the guns. If you're good with, let's say, a sniper rifle, then you're good with a sniper rifle. If you, if, you, if you give a noob a sniper rifle, they won't get a kill. It's so difficult. It has to be a headshot or a really, really high body shot with, let's say, the SV. 98 I believe it is, the bolt action sniper rifle. The semi-automatics are really hard to use too. It's all about headshots in this game. It's got the bullet drop as well because it isn't hit scans like Call of Duty. It's actual, the bullets is an object which is so, so, so much more realistic and it gives so good gameplay. And have a look at this. I try to spray down both of these guys and I take out one with my pistol. I'm like 1 HP and this guy takes me out. I think he had like 38 left. And I got a couple good streaks so I've gone point to mouth. Yeah, I know you guys can see but I like talking about them when I come on screen. So pretty much snipers are fair, you know there's no drop shotting as well, that's what I really don't like in Call of Duty, even though I do it myself, drop shotting is non-existent in the game, you drop, you stop firing which is really good, you know it takes a couple more bullets to kill an enemy, so it's not like it's a 3 to 4 shot kill, it's more like a 5 to 6 to 7 shot kill, depending on what gun you're using, which is really good because it's, it's, easier on the player that isn't so good but meaning you have to be also accurate as well so if you're an accurate player it really pays off but if you're a person that just sprays and prays and stuff like that this game isn't for you and I like to be accurate so this game is more along the lines for myself now, even though I may be doing horrible in some games, because Battlefield, it's a very, very, very difficult game. This I do quite good in scam. I go like 20 and 5 before I crash. But on some games, I'm going like 0 and 11. In most games where I'm going like scores like that, really, really bad kill death ratios, I'll just quit the game and go into another one. Combat Arms, Call of Duty, whatever, Black Ops 2, whatever game. If I'm doing like that, I'll instantly rage quit. But in Battlefield, it's something different. Even though I may be doing really, really bad, I'll still keep playing the game. And that's just because the way Battlefield 3 is, and it's really hard to explain. Because let's say I'm playing on Operation Firestorm, it's one of the maps in this game, it's really, really big. Pretty much I was flying in jets, I was flying in helicopters and jeeps and stuff like that. And pretty much I was having a lot of fun. But then I realised how bad in reality I was doing, and I was just like, alright, I'm doing bad, but I'm still having fun. I'm trying to fly these jets, and I'm doing absolutely horrible at it. That's one thing I really want to do, one of my mates, the guy 61 you guys might know him in a couple of Combat Arms commentaries. He's always... He's a massive, massive flying fanatic for Battlefield 3. And he's always telling me, you know, fly a plane, you see here. And I'm like, I can't fly a plane. But now, you know, I really want to get... Have a look at this. I'll talk it later. Look at that. One, two, and that is a triple feed with the pistol. That was like 18... And this guy as well. So that's a four feed. I was pretty happy with that. 
And so he's always telling me, you know, use planes, you see there. And also, point this out, tactical lie. I really hate it in this game, and everybody hates it. Stuff I do hate in Battlefield is um, suppression, which you'll see is like when people fire at you, your whole screen goes all fuzzy and blurred and stuff like that. And tactical mask. Everything else I love. That's, that's only my two problems in this game. But he's saying for me to fly planes and stuff like that, and I'm trying to learn how to do it. I think I might put a bit of a target here of just me absolutely failing like crashing in the water and crashing in the planes and building stuff like that. But overall, I'm absolutely loving this game. And it's really, really, really fun to play. And if you guys haven't bought it, buy it. I bought it from the CD Key Warehouse site. And it was like $25 Russian version. I use a language changer. And overall, I got it for a really cheap price. And this game is worth so much more, so much more money for what I actually paid for it. And this is going to be soaking up a lot of time. So a lot of com commentary is coming from this. A lot of commentaries come from other games as well, like Blacklight Retribution and a bit of Black Ops 2, Combat Arms obviously, and anything else I'll be putting out on my channel and you guys might suggest, because pretty much this computer can run anything. And such, you know, if it runs anything, then I'm going to be playing anything. I really love this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. And pretty much I'm going to go spawn here. I'm just going to go, just go on the scene on my right and see this guy with a sniper rifle. And I'm just bunny hopping along. I see him. I start spraying him down and boom, I get disconnected. And there was only like 20 kills left of the game. Oh well, doesn't matter. Still a really good gameplay. Still a really, really good game overall. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Downutter, out.